Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at value creation. This topic is covered in cost accounting, the CPA exam, BEC section, as well as the CMA exam. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn. If you haven't done so, YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,800 plus accounting, auditing, tax, finance, as well as Excel tutorials. If you like my lectures, please like them and share them. Connect with me on Instagram. If, if these lectures benefit you, it means they might benefit other people as well. On farhatlectures.com, you will find additional resources to complement and supplement this course as well as your other accounting and finance courses, as well as your CPA exam, I strongly suggest you check out my website. Let's talk about value created in an organization. And specifically, why start with this value creation? Why start with this value chain? And what is that value chain in an organization? And how does it relate to our topic, which is our course, Cost Accounting? Well, the value chain is a set of activities, a series of activities that's going to transform raw material into finished goods and services and users purchase and consume. So simply put, somehow we are going to take some steps, create something to create value. Value to whom? Value to the customers. Value that we can sell. For example, we might be producing batteries car batteries for electric cars and we can sell those to tesla we can sell those to other companies as well so the process to make those car batteries is the value chain it's that set of activities now within that value chain there, there's something called value added activities what are the value added activities those are the activities that the customer perceive as adding utility for example we want this battery to have a longer life than the previous ones why because the customer will perceive it we want to have a battery that can be easily faster and easily charged well that's going to also add value to the customer those are value added activities so the goal of cost accounting because the course is cost accounting is to help assist to assist managers in achieving the maximum value for their organization so that's our job as cost accountant or at the cost accounting system is to help managers achieve the maximum value we can deliver in the organization now to be more specific the best way is to kind of show you an actual example step by step by step in, in which how this all works for example again we're, we're dealing with electric car batteries so the first thing we do is we have to kind of create an idea, start with an idea. Where does the idea start? It starts with research and development. The creation and development of ideas related to a new product, service, or process. Well, how does the cost accounting system plays a role here? Well, we need to hire and pay research personnel. We need to apply and pay for a patent application. We need laboratory facilities. All of those, they consume cost. So those costs, they, they will need to be tracked, uh, tracked uh, analyzed and reviewed so now we are starting to create some value with the idea once the idea can be designed so the next step in this value chain process is the design well guess what the value of of, of the product increase now we have a design what is a design a detailed development and engineering of the product services or process now the, the, we are going to have a design center, engineering facilities used to develop and test the prototype. Again, we are going to have cost involved in this process. So notice the costing system is guiding us throughout the way by providing numbers and figures to, to, to the creators of the product or to the company for that matter. Once we design the product and it's a viable product, we have a prototype. Now we have to purchase. We have going through the purchase step. We have to purchase the raw material that's going to go into the product. Well, the acquisition of goods and services needed to produce. Well, we need to look at the purchasing department personnel. We need to hire them. We need to look at our vendor, certify them, make sure they 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 meet our they meet our a requirement then once we have the raw material we're going to start the production process again this is all, all always we're discussing part of the value chain here with the collection and assembly of resources to produce this the, to produce the product or deliver the service here we need actual machinery equipment and factory personnel that's going to produce this car batteries and remember throughout the way we are dealing with all sorts of different costs so we need to keep track of that, we need the costing system. 
Once the product is done, we're going to have to market the product and sell it. Again, this is part of the value chain. We're adding value because if we produce it and we don't market it and sell it, how good it is. So the process of informing potential customers about the attribute of the product and services that leads to their sale through advertisement, focus group, product placement, as well as other venues. Well, then after we sell it, we have to distribute it. This is also part of this process. The process of delivering product or services to customers. We can use trucks, fuel, website, web, website creation, hosting, and maintenance. Then at the end, after we sell it, we have to make sure the customer is happy. We have to provide post-sale service. And this is where our customer service, think about it. If you buy a product, you want to make sure, you want to make sure that the product is serviced in case something happened to it in case you have any questions you have to have a customer service such as a call center personnel return processing and warranty repair so those are all part of the value chain component and cost accounting will help in all of them because we are dealing with cost in every step of the way Let's talk about administrative functions, supply chain and distribution chain. Administrative functions such as HR and accounting are not part of the value chain itself. They are included instead in every business function of the value chain. For example, um, you will need uh, for the purchasing, you will need to have hire people. You need accounting record for the production, the same thing. So they're not, they, they are included in every business function, but they are not, they are not included as part of the value chain this is basically the the, the the value the value chain that's adding that's the value creation this is what adds value to the to the customer to the customer and to our product the supply chain what is a supply chain it includes sets sets set of firms and individuals that sell goods to us to the firm so we're going to have a supply chain some someone is going to supply us with the product needed for production so after we purchase it we produce it but we need someone we have to have a supply chain we have to have reliable suppliers supplier that can deliver that can deliver quality product that's going to go into our final ending goods and the distribution chains it's includes sets of firms and individual that buys and distributed the goods and services from us again here we are talking we're done with everything we sold it now we're going to distribute it now those two these suppliers and customers are the firm they are, they are called the firm boundaries therefore the supply chain and distribution are part of the value chain outside the firm they're outside the firm they're outside the company itself because one supplies us the other one delivered the final product from us so simply put this is basically the value chain and how does it relate to cost accounting in the next session we would look at the difference in cost accounting and financial accounting because this is a cost accounting course you want to make sure you know the difference between the two also when we talk about cost accounting we're going to go back and talk a little bit about how does cost accounting add value to this process as always i'm going to remind you if you like this recording to share it and to visit my website farhatlectures.com if you're interested in additional material um, additional resources for this course as well as your other accounting courses and cpa exam good luck study hard and more importantly stay safe